Hello, today we're going to be making two kits, but I shall be making two separate videos. I've had these two kits for many, well, dare I say it, many decades, but never, well, I might have done something with this, thing, with this one here, but anyway, as you can see, the HO model kit, water tower, pillar and gilder construction water inspection cover, ladder, pipe, box, and and wheel and this other one here is a signal gantry three track widths can be extended by additional kits so let's take a look at this water tower first there's not really a picture of it on the front here it's just a station and a little cottage there it's got instructions english german and french Made in England. So let's take a look inside. What do we have inside? First of all, we've got the very important instructions. Let's picture what it looks like. It does say you should paint it before, but I'm not really bothered about painting it. I mean, like it says that grey dotted area should be painted to light grey, and that little cross area should be painted black, and the white area should be painted light Brunswick green. I'm not really, I might paint it afterwards, but I don't know, probably not. And on the back is the actual instructions, seems to be 10 sections of it. Then I don't know if this still exists, but it says, Are you a member of the Airfix Models Club? Club pages every week in Buster and Valiant Comics. Do they still even exist? Does all right to Airfix Models Club, Department C, 15 stroke 17 Long Acre, London WC 29QU. Does that address even still exist? Remember, I've had this thing in this box for a couple of decades now, so. And then on we'll the <laughs> this might make you laugh. It's a complaints thing really. I suppose if there were bits missing, address above labelled to yourself using block letters. In case of complaint, fill in details and return to. And there's the address there again. It says name of construction kit. My complaint is blah blah blah. Parts number and date. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be able to fill that in. I don't think there'll only complaint. And this is the box of pieces. Turn it upside down. There is a small hole in the box there. I hope nothing important has fallen out. Don't know why we've got these little clips in there for. Get rid of them. Well, I'm gonna just sort these out. I'll be back in a minute. Just want to quickly to show you, don't know how well you can see that, but in each little box, it's got like one to 10. So that's to show you what part, and each part's numbered like that's number circles a bit there. Number one, so like that little circle, that's number one. And we've got, I think those, don't know how well you can see that, but every part of here is number, so you know which part. 12, 18, 17, 20. This bit I don't get, the first bit, but if you like the support bits, you can see there with the little circle bits and the crisscross supports. And it says, you've got to start off them little circle parts, which I've got, which is numbers one and six. So that's one and that's six. And then it says, I've got you these crisscross parts, the little support, don't know what you want to call them. That's two to five. Now, the only bits I can find, don't know how well you can number, anyway, I think I'm missing one of these, but that says six, seven, 10, 12, 16, 17, and 20 on that bit. So uh, I see. So those two bits are 12. Next two bits are 16, next two bits are 17, next two bits are 20. I think these numbers have been numbered wrong. Apparently, that's along that it says, like I said, 6, so that's 6, that's 7, that's 6, 7, 10. So that's a bit that doesn't seem to be numbered. But I think I'll have to just, just work it out as I go along. Can't see any other parts which are which, the uh, same as those bits there. So let's just try and do this best as possible. Well, my, in section 2, you know, just 12 to 15, 17 to 20, 17, well, that's got 17 and 20 up there. Anyway, so I think there you've got four circle bits, like on there, which I've got two there, and then another two there, and I think basically in, there's, in each of these circle bits, how we can see the little groove bits in them, basically they each of the these little circle bits got have four of these little support bits sticking out of it, so I'll just, I'll just go with it. 
the instruction does say 51 millimeters apart that's roughly 51 millimeters apart but i seem to get glue on my fingers and everywhere else apart from the bits i want to glue together which is quite annoying every time i use this super glue so like i said get it on my fingers everywhere when the bit's done glue goes everywhere very fiddly Glue goes everywhere but where you actually want it to stick. Now that's the first support for the for those. Now I've got to do the side support. Next bit I've got that's that's part eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then that's 16, and then there's the last four bits 17, 18, 19, 20, which makes a smaller version of that. Let's break these four bits off. Glue these bits on. Do this again. Be prepared to get glue all over your fingers when you do this. I, every time I use this glue I always do. I end up sticking things where I don't want to get stuck together. Now I've got the glue. Piece 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now on stage three, this is 21, 22, and that little handle bit there is 23, and these two basically clip together, together with a help of glue. Those two bits stuck nicely together. Now I've got to stick this little handle, round handle thing, into the little hole just there. This is stage four. This is that's the bottom bit of the water tower, that's the bottom of the tank. That is part 24, that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now I've got to glue it all on just to show you. This has got a little bumpy bit at that end and that end on that side, but it's got the bumpy bit on there, a little bit further in at each end. So that's got to make sure that goes on the right way around for both of this bit and that bit there. And again, it doesn't really matter for these end bits. These end bits have got little bumpy bits on each side as well. You can see little bumpy bits where they go in those holes there. 
a little tiny little hole just there. But the two middle bits, they have to go in the middle. They only got bumpy bits on the on one side. And again, so it's just a matter of gluing all these bits together. If I'd when I'd finished building this, if Sam trains reviewing this, he would not be pleased about the uh, result because I'm getting glue like everywhere, everywhere where I want it to go. There's great big globby glue marks. Last bit to glue on the little bumpy bits, and then a bit along the edge there, in the middle maybe somewhere. That's that bit done. I've got to clear this bit on, add those corner bits onto there, see these little corner bits here. I've got to add these four support bits on and these legs like that, 35, 36, 37 and 38. I'll be back in a minute when you see it a bit more glued together. This is where I am now, but like all the frame bits missing, uh, missing, not missing but well, the only bit what's missing is there's a little bit there, which I, that's, I don't know where that went. So I've kind of glued all that together. So now I've got to stuck the feet on. So I've stuck this middle water pipe in here. I've stuck the fourth, well, I'm going to stick this fourth pipe on. Fourth pipe, fourth foot. Now I've got to turn it over and stick the roof on for the, and the panels. Don't think I'll stick the roof on, but the four panels on top. Now I'll stick first of the uh, tank panels in. There you go, nearly finished. All I've got to do now is add the ladder at the end here. Uh, I'm never going to fill it up with water because it's not all that watertight, so it will leak. So let me just do the, the ladder now. There you go, it's the finished model. I know it's not absolutely perfect, but I'm supposed to glue the, the uh, glue on the roof, but I decided not to glue it on, just and it's got that little sliding bit here. See, that bit comes off as well, you see. Sliding bit here. I might paint it in the future, I don't know, but basically that's it. And I suppose that you turn that and then you can maybe all the water goes in or is that where the water comes out I wouldn't know um, maybe maybe that's where the water comes out perhaps maybe I'll put that too low oh well basically that's it though that's my Airfix water tower 1980 I do believe Airfix production 1960 so there you go so thank you for watching my next video is going to be the signal gantry don't forget to like and subscribe don't just pass by without liking and subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.